Hi Capricorn, this is your reading for the 10th to the 16th and I'm using the Tarot of the Divine and also the Teacup Tarot by Anne Ellis Angels and you can find her in a channel on YouTube. Also you come in with the Tower. The Tower means there could be an unexpected ending. You could um, something wasn't built on sound foundations this can be a relationship or perhaps your career or your job something um, might have ended all of a sudden where there is an ending there is a new beginning but don't worry don't be scared of this new change perhaps this is all for the best you might be in, perhaps it is a blessing in disguise as um, something wasn't built on proper or sound foundations. Take this new beginning or this change as an adventure and as excitement. Where, you know, when door closes, 20 opens up. That is usually what they say. So there could be more choices for you um, uh, to start something new, perhaps a hobby, a relationship, or uh, a job, or a promotion. Boom. So be careful, okay? Be careful. Also, you have the Ace of Wands, and that could represent turning a hobby into um, a career. It could also be um, a career or a passionate relationship. Um, you could exert your passion, whether it's with a person or whether it's with um, a hobby or a job something that you love to do so perhaps this change this unexpected change will be a blessing in disguise like i said on Mon that's the overall energy at the bottom of the deck on monday you come in with the justice justice will be done you will get what you deserve and so will the other perhaps you might have been made redundant due to the lockdowns the company's gone bankrupt, who knows? And you had to go to get legal advice and justice to get your um, redundancy money. And also we've got the Seven of Pencils. The Seven of Pencils is the Seven of Swords. Perhaps they thought that if they closed down um, the company and they lost, the, they had to let everybody go, that they could get away with not paying your severance pay or your redundancy pay so somebody was being cheeky or being deceitful behind your back but luck is on your side because justice will come in if this is within a relationship perhaps somebody was cheating on you behind your back and that's why you got um, divorced or going through a divorce or getting a divorce you will get what you deserve. Luck is on your side. The page of ones means that news could be coming in about a child. So this could be the settlement, um, a child benefit or child support. That could be it. You could be dealing with the municipality that um, like the tax office, the IRA office, I think it is in America. And then you've applied for the uh, child support but you are divorced so there might have been some legal issues and they are sorting it out hypothetically speaking perhaps he or your ex-partner has decided that they don't want to pay child support because they say they haven't got a job or they haven't got money so um, that is where the IRS and other institutions will club together and take the su uh, support out of his um, uh, wages and the rest could come from the st state and that's usually what happens here in Holland if a husband doesn't want to pay then it goes to court and then usually the settlement is is that even if he's got a part-time job you get a certain percentage and they take it out of his wages um, I just don't know the English name I'll just have to sort hold on that's the word I was looking for they will seize um, money from his or hers um, 
wages. So that could be the uh, news that you're getting in because the page is a child and you've got two. So you could be um, stuck or you could have two children or more and you will get child benefit for each of these children. You've got the official news, the page of swords, so that is Aquarius and the page of wands is Sagittarius. You've also got Sagittarius here besides Aries and Leo because you've got the Ace so that means all signs so you could be dealing um, you could have started proceedings in um, Sagittarius time that is from the 21st of November till the 21st of December so you could have gone into or even in September October if you are looking for time perhaps you started to get advice seek a lawyer the justice and you had to go to court and now the decision has been made you've got the uh, um, the strength card and the strength card represents that you have your strength your determination your patience and your love has carried you to victory definitely as you will be the victor with the number seven here and with the justice card but you will get what you deserve and so will they remember karma comes back threefold whether it's you or whether it's them if somebody's done you wrong definitely officialities seem to be in the picture here if you're buying a house or selling a house you could be um, signing official papers with the justice this could be the lawyer or the notary public also the knight of T cups is here he comes in there with bringing news and um, this is steady but fast news go with the flow you've got the wands and the fire here so things are going to happen very swiftly and very fast also um, this knight brings in an offer uh, but stay in balance balance is of essence if you want the victory keep your emotions under control I know the knight is young and they don't read they don't really have control over their own feelings um, yet because they're so young they haven't got the experience to keep their emotions under control um, as they are still learning but you will get your emotions under control because you've got the king of pencils the king of swords here and the sun is shining on you so this is a leo this is a gemini mainly and the sun is shining on you you are in the spotlight that means that you have recognition and will get recognition and also the sun shines and illuminates so do your research make sure that your legal advisor um, if you are dealing with legal adv uh, advice and uh, does their research to so that you can um, get the victory the king of swords certainly uses his sword like the justice person he's got the sword there they will cut straight through to the core and fight on your behalf behalf this is Libra this is Gemini we've got the Aquarius as well so definitely the power of three i feel is here as well um the the trine is here that's a positive um power that's the holy the, the holy three um the divine power uh, has your back you will cut straight through to the core like i said to get to the truth and get clarity and get justice as the king of swords and libra or justice card stand for justice clarity honesty and re, uh, penin, pendin, penance sorry i can't get out of my word penance okay so that said that is the answer to that you need balance and to maintain that um, emotional balance be businesslike like the king of swords and the justice card also the sun means moving home buying a home selling a home moving a home means buying and selling obviously and um, also you could be doing that or you could be going on holiday after 
this turmoil has settled down. It could come in unexpectedly. Uh, perhaps you might have been waiting for a settlement or to get a verdict on something. But now it is coming in all of a sudden and very fast. Because you do have one, two, three signs of air. So there is a swiftness. Also the ones are swift. Okay, so things are going to happen very fast and all of a sudden. It might be, uh, it might astound you that why has it come out of the blue and why has it happened so suddenly. Okay, now you've also got the healer of the ages. The healer. Now it is time to start healing. Perhaps that is why you might be going on holiday, taking a short break. You've got 51. 51 means that you are in balance as it becomes a six. And you will regain your vitality. And look, this is like Jesus and the holy man. And I said the trine. Now, I don't know where that comes from um, as I, I'm not that fantastic, but that is the word that came in the trine. The Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit. The Divine has your back. You've got number 11, that's the porthole, the Divine or Cosmos or Angelic porthole for this new beginning. So definitely luck is on your side, the sun is shining on you. Awesome, beautiful. Now, I'm going to read as well from this card, it's time to heal or you have healed. This powerful being brings the force of ancient wisdom and profound healing. The light of the divine consciousness pours from his hands and heart, flowing to you with love and powerful healing intention. This amazing entity is with you now, bringing resolution to the physical, mental and emotional ills, helping to unblock stuck energy and revitalizing your life force. You may have felt like, uh, like this strong presence recently, or you may just be open to the wonderful sensations now. You can call upon this emissary of miraculous transformation whenever you need vitality, balance or renewal. Know that at the deepest level, an important healing is taking place. How beautiful is that? And how beautiful to begin the year with the Holy Entity uh, or the Divine Entity here. Some call him Jesus and some call him the Apostle. Some call him a prophet. I just say it's a Holy en uh, Entity because I came up, before I pulled this card, we had the Trine, the Holy with the, the power, the old, if you don't believe, I don't want to bring religion into things or politics, but it is the triumph. It's the, the, uh, the, the energy of the cosmos, then it's the angels and it's the holy light, the divine light. It, oh, I just love it. I'm sorry. I don't care. I just love angels and I love the saints and uh, good people. There were, there are good people on earth. Don't lose faith in yourself or anybody else for that matter. Stand tall and stay in balance. Just talk to the spirits and your ancestors. They are there everywhere. You're never alone. Take care. Bye-bye.